All right, John Gazzotis, how do you feel? Feeling good, feeling strong. That's good. What are you, what are you eating for breakfast? Got some delicious beans here and a uh, local banana with a uh, little uh, avocado. Yeah, these bananas are nice. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and there's a... Boom. Is it worth it to go up to the top? That's... Have you been? Have you been to the top? Yeah, we were up there. This morning I watched the sunrise. This morning? Oh, bless your heart. It was amazing. Well, then what the F are we going to walk for eight days for if you went up this morning? <laughs> Just a few minutes here. We're going to have a meeting and then hop on a bus and then drive a long time. And then uh, we... <laughs> we're going to drive from Boston to New York, the equivalent distance we will have to drive to get to the start of the strip. Um, and then we'll hike a relatively short distance today. And uh, yeah, so there you go. We'll see how we feel in six days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are, the Lamoshi Trailhead. How are you feeling, John? Feeling strong. I'm feeling strong. We haven't walked yet. We've been driving. Like, it is three o'clock, and we had our first meeting at eight. So the travel has been insane uh, just to get to this point. But there's the our bus behind us here, and uh, yeah, excited to get moving. How's it going? Fantastic. So, day two. Day two. Gorgeous. We're still in the rainforest action. This will probably end probably another yeah. thousand feet or so. But uh, little view of what's around us. Yeah. We are at 97, almost 9,800 feet. Still feeling good? Feel great. All right. Yeah. We'll like see you again later on day two. This is how we fought out the Patriots won the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, because of us. Yeah, <laughs> because of him. Because of the, So this is the scene. So I'm so disappointed. They told me who won. <laughs> We're just arriving to Camp 2. The rest of our crew is signing in. There's the uh, Shira Camp uh, sign. Those orange tents, that's our uh, neighborhood. It's an uh, upper middle class neighborhood. About 11,500 feet. How are we doing? Awesome, man. It's awesome. The service is phenomenal. They put our stuff in our tents. You guys are good. They knew who we were to put us in our tents. Oh and uh, they were funny. Hilarious. Remember everyone, we met J Money today. Big Mo. Oh. Big Bo. Bo Kubwa. How about this? Matiti. Matiti? Matiti, big Matiti. <laughs> Matiti. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. This is our view outside from where we're at. This is our little setup, our packs in here. And uh, it's actually quite warm right now. Pretty warm in here because the sun's on the tent. Uh, it's more chilly here. We're at 11.5. Um, I'm starving. I'm a little hungry too. So we're going to set up tent and then go eat some food. Here we are, camp two, after night. There's our tent. So, morning of day three, and there is the view of the mountain. A little 360 behind us. This is where John and I slept. Let's just say hi to John. Say good morning. Hello, world! <laughs> and that is our first crystal clear view of the mountain on day three. All right, what's up, buddy? Doing great, bro. Look at that mountain. Right? We just got into camp, end of day three. Our guide high fiving everyone, the crew getting the in. Nice job! Wow! This is the camp. It's pretty badass. Here we are, we finished day three. Behind the clouds, you can't see. That's actually the peak. And if we look down here, this is a little bonus hike down in there. Let me zoom in just a little bit. You can see our tent city. That's where we finished the day in the previous video. All right, panorama back. It's pretty freaking cool. And back to Kilimanjaro, you can see some of the snow. All right. So you can see the clouds are like at our level and they're rolling in. There's our crew. There's John. Here we are. Above 14,000 feet. 
So technically the highest that I've ever been. That's the girls' room down there. Forty six hundred meters, fifteen hundred feet. This is like a little lunch camp. We're halfway through the day today. Uh, let's go see what's on the other side. There's our group over here to the left. The cloud is rolling up the mountain, literally up the mountain. Down we go, Lithuania in the house. I'm one quarter Lithuanian, can I hang out with you? Here we are, we had to stop, put on rain gear. There's John, he is now a lead guide because his shit is the same color as the guide. Coming down, 14-3. I'm having to be very careful because I'm videoing and walking. It's like texting and driving of Kilimanjaro. Yeah, exactly. That's the shortcut. We are not even at the top. I was like, <laughs> how's it going, Mr. Jason? Having fun? Rocking it. Trende. Kunki Master. That's right. Kunki Master. Kunki Master. Kunki Master. All right, so we are almost at the top. Branko Wall. Yeah. Scale down this way. All the people behind us. Porters that way. We're going up to that. Uh, the mountain's hidden behind the camera, but it's difficult to get the scope of this. A lot of scrambling. How do you feel? I feel great. The most fun part, for sure. Yeah, by far most exciting so far. I, I think, think the best is yet to come. Yeah, well, the top. The top. <laughs> this is the song we get. Yeah. seriously. It's all business up front. I can't party. Welcome to camp. As the cloud rolls in. And you can't see it, but behind us. There she is, 6,000 feet above us. You can see the clouds rolling over that ridge, which we came over. Spin back around. There's Gazota. Say hello, hello to your fans. What's up, gang? Hello. What up, what up? We are at Camp 5. If you can hear me, I'm pretty tired. Uh, I'm actually feeling good, but this is... The reason why I'm tired is nothing other than I walked from those orange tents up here, but this is uh, this is Camp Five. We have one more climb tomorrow to 1,500 feet, and then up to the summit. Um, so we have 6,000 feet to go above where we're at here. Um, so literally twice as high as we are here. But this is pretty comfy, um, pretty comfy altitude at this stage of the game. That's my tent down there on the second. Uh, from the right and that's our mess tent there the black tent and there's a lot of people sprawled out all over here you can kind of see the clouds roll in um, yeah pretty friggin cool um, yeah so we're going back down to get some tea um, what looks flat here is not flat at all it's actually quite a climb up but there's not too many places to hang out up here um, that are reasonable so we're gonna go grab some tea and find out what the plan is for tomorrow and I think we climb up to 1500 feet tomorrow and then we leave at midnight uh, for the summit which is all like 15 of us pretty incredible experience um, the summit's only really part of the deal as I think we've all found out the people are a gigantic part of it 
um, as is the entire journey because you can't just walk up this stupid thing straight away. It's a process and we relied on 50 people around us to help get us up safely. So it's pretty fucking incredible. So we'll see you again in the next video. This is the real deal. <laughs> this is what is on. So we can eat. What's up, real? You're gonna be YouTube famous. Oh. Okay, so just after we got out of our tent, the video we shot in here with these guys. It's Jesus. like legit hail. From right here. <laughs> How are we gonna see that? That's like pelted. <laughs> I was like, you're getting pelted with hail. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> it hurts. This is sunset right about dinner time, 6 30. You'll see pictures of that much cooler than, uh, than this does. There's our tent back up the top. This place changes because of where it's at about every 20 minutes as the clouds roll in, it looks different. It's fucking insane. Did you make it? It's just like, everything's such an effort, like. Yeah, right? The breath, just like simple, like trying to find your phone in the tent. You're like, oh, Alright, what did we just learn? The camera. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Crazy cool, like right a there. banana. Banana in the fridge. Poa cheesy comandizi. Did I say it right? Poa cheesy comandizi. Like real. Crazy cool like a banana in the fridge. <laughs> Get it, Daniel. <laughs> Shut up. Back in high school, I used to bust it to the dance. Now I hit the FBO with duffels in my hands. I didn't have a Zan, 13 hours till I land. Alright, we are at far off from camp. And uh, we're getting smashed, if you can see that. With this wall of gray cloud. <laughs> Descending into our base camp as the wall of cloud comes in. I mean, it's literally a wall. Probably has rain in it too. Might have rain or freaking hail like yesterday. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Uh. So this is uh. Our tenant base camp. I don't think you can get a sense of how fucking crooked the walking is. Right here, John. Like, just falls off. There's the wall. Straight down. So this is level. I'm holding this level. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Okay, here's the real deal. It's miserable. It's raining. Headed back to my tent. As we leave in about nine hours. All right, here's camp. Oh, bird. That's cool. After the fog has rolled out, it's much more hospitable. What's up, J Money? Everyone's getting ready, we leave in how many hours? Five. five. Is it really only five? <laughs> and then you hike for the next day of your life. You can do it, you can do it. All right, just arrived at the base camp. How do you feel? 
Feel great, all things considered. Slight headache. A little bit of a headache. We're at 15,000 feet. This yeah. place, as you see in the earlier video, is fucked up. We're on a hill. Mad we just had a <laughs> rock. <laughs> this is boulder. a rock boulder <laughs> below Jones. We move that, and uh, we have 30 minutes to lunch. I have mm -hmm. to piss really bad. Yeah, yeah. As do all of us. I drank all my water on our way here. Good to my man. And so, yeah, we have like. We have T minus 11 hours till we summit. Yep. To Long summit. ass day. So we just need to not fuck up. Yeah, that is the key. All right. Good all times. Go. Boom. Get this. <laughs> That's creepy. It is a little creepy. How you doing? Good, man. 17,000 and change. Feeling what are we about sure? halfway up? Yeah, halfway up. Three and a half hours in. Yep. How are you feeling? Better than I thought I would have at 17,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, the mittens, I miss my uh, fingers. Yeah, yeah. I miss having fingers. Yeah. But I'm not cold, really. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, my back feels like shit, but uh, that's just that welcome to my world. Yeah. I got some um, we are over the top of the city. I don't think you can see that. But we are literally like the street of lights and that's the city. And there's some of our frozen friends over here. They're doing good. Right. But uh, about halfway to go. Yeah. Time to seat back up. We'll see you soon. Fucking insane. <laughs> Climb up this bitch. It's no joke. And you have to be a tough motherfucker to get up it. So we're walking from Stella Point to the actual peak. Yep. Sun is up behind us. Glacier. What are you thinking? It's the most majestic thing in Shire my <laughs> kids' birth. <laughs> and the wife. <laughs> of course. You come up um, like basically out of darkness and abyss to Stella Point. Would you agree, Mr. Jason? Darkness and abyss, right as the sun is coming up, and you get to somewhat flat land where you think you're actually going to live, and the sun is up, and everyone else thinks they're going to live, and yeah, and then you start to see this stuff behind you, and it gives you hope to continue to walk to take your silly picture cuz uh yeah I felt good pretty much the whole way how about you yeah good a little yeah. cold on the extremities but other than that but it's basically like being drunk like um this video will probably come across like we're drunk we have 14 zombies walking towards the feet here and some of us don't even drink <laughs> it's a bad kind of drunk. It's a bad it's kind bad. of drunk. Yeah, 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 because <laughs> I'm stumbling and I feel good. That's not a good combination. <laughs> so, for those of you guys who want to do it, think twice. <laughs> Make sure you really want to do it because everyone toughed it out and I'm not sure everyone will be happy they did it. How'd you do, brother? That's you, did, right. you did great. That's right. Basketball. Is that all? By myself. Like all 22? Yeah, all, five all, five all five positions. Yeah, Sleeping all five. bag. I could sleep. And there's August at the top, just pole pole, dragging the whole group along. That's where you're supposed to do it. 
Am I drunk? Mm -hmm. No. There's a glacier. And you're in Africa. Look at that shit. I know. Because in two days, we're going to be drinking beer in the pool. Oh. <laughs> we have a swimming pool on the top. Here's a swimming pool on the top. Pool on the top. Just for yeah, you crazy right? people. All right, we're going to sign out because even though this doesn't look that bad, we still got a little bit more work to do. I'll see you in Africa. <laughs> Conky master. Conky. Here we are on the way out. Yeah. Still amazing views. Heads. Yeah. It's amazing views. Oh, Jerry. We'll double down back. Jerry's been nice enough to hang with us yeah. to the end to take pictures. Because he's the man. <clears throat> we'll run if we have to. This is the coolest place that I've ever taken a piss. Right here. So we're walking back out from the point. Here's the glaciers, which apparently used to be much closer. There's uh, John and our buddy Jerry. He's gracious enough to take care of us. There's the sun that rose back here a little bit ago. And we're headed back down to Stella Point and then back to the camp, which took us a good seven hours to get to and hopefully only about three hours to return. But we've been up above 15,000 feet for over eight hours at this point, so my head wants to explode. Okay, on the way up, it was pulley pulley. Slowly, slowly. On the way down. Doesn't matter how fast they go, I can't catch them. John and I were slow. Now we can't catch them, doesn't matter how fast we go. Shit. And that's the camp down there. Look at this. Look how fast we're going. It took us seven hours to get up this and probably like an hour to get down. Look at this. On the way down. And that's camp down there. Three slalom, the giant slalom to each school. <laughs> All right, cousin, so we have summited. We have. Spent the most time there. Yes, sir. We're arguably two of the strongest guys on the way up. No, no doubt. And uh, 14 of the 15 of us made it. Yeah, solid showing. Bless their hearts. The guides trusted us to navigate our way back down in between the fast group and slow group by ourselves I, that's a huge vote of confidence well that. big ego, ego boost over the the uh the have to get down because their sick group went first right we were part of the fast group but we decided to fuck around and take some pictures yeah. and uh yeah this is the shit the absolute shit <laughs> there's, there's no worries man this is fucking amazing this is amazing this, this is day amazing. made it all worth it no snow, beautiful clouds. Oh, because we're above the clouds. Yeah, still the, the way they roll off the mountain. That's camp down there. So we should get a move on and catch back up. We should. So this is our camp, base camp last night. This is where we scrambled up this morning. We didn't see any of this because it was dark. And right by John's head is the trail we came in on last night. And we're headed back down. All right, so we're down. We just had lunch, but we didn't really eat. We're leaving camp. They're cleaning up and the magic of these guys, what's gonna happen? They will pack it all up, throw it on their head, and run ahead of us as to the next camp, the same place we're going. With a pack on their head, beat us to the next camp, set up, be ready, probably have meal on the table. As if it was just there when we arrived. So check this out, we're gonna go hike for four plus five hours, and they're gonna have all of that set up by the time we arrive. And there they are, with all of our gear. 
leaving after us and they're going to arrive ahead of us and it's all going to be set up when we get there. They came through. Entirely set up. Boom. They have run ahead after our death march of our 18 hour day. What's up brother? What's up man? Thank you man. Thanks guys. So we just finished and uh, had the tipping ceremony on our last night. As you can see, camp is kind of being broken down behind us. We're about to hop on, um, actually we have a little trek out of here, then we hop the bus back to the hotel. Um, this is pretty, pretty fucking insane. Um, just pretty insane. Um, big cultural experience for uh, all of us. Um, you know, we thought we came to climb a mountain and we actually made a bunch of new friends and uh, learned a lot about a country that most of us knew very, very little about and, um, and a culture, um, you know, all while climbing the largest freestanding mountain in the world, which is incredible feat in and of itself. So um, yeah, really amazing trip, um, really amazing people. And uh, for those of you guys who are thinking of climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, it is way harder than you can imagine and it is way more amazing than you can imagine. So, and if you do, um, Ultimate Kilimanjaro is the outfit that we went with and uh, absolutely first class service all the way through. Um, the, the hardest working group and most polite people that uh, pretty much we, all of us, all of us on the trek have ever encountered. Um, I think it was 43 porters, seven guides, several cooks. Um, so each one of us had three laborers working to make this experience amazing. And um, you know, even though we were all tough individuals in the crew, the people who worked to put this together were, um, each of them were three times tougher than any of us. Just an amazing uh, experience right here. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see. And there it is. There's the mountain we came for, so off we go.